22 minutes is that we're going to have a look into render. And so what's really cool here is I've just gone to signals for you. This is also another new feature that's going to be coming out very soon. Um, and this uses uh, whatever you're interested in on Nansen and we'll be able to surface this into personalized signals. So you get to see signals that match to you the most. So if you had a token on your watch list, if you're actively searching for specific sectors, you'll start seeing more of these signals. And if you really like them, give them a like. If you dislike them, dislike it. And then based on that, we use machine learning to make sure you get the best insights for you. So what's really cool is that we've seen a smart money has sent 2.6 million of render. And I'm gonna show you how to research this signal and show you how you can take this information and use it to your advantage. So what we do here is click on to render here and then go to smart money. We know that there's been a change in the last 24 hours. We sort by 24 hours and we can see that the biggest outflow is from kinetic capital. So we go to the transactions and then let's see what they've done. So what they've done is they've moved funds to this address here. And so I'm going to press command click and they did it in a test transaction and they sent the remaining funds after confirming the test transaction is the right address. And so often you see funds do a small test transaction to make sure that, hey, they've got control of the funds and they'll move the funds there. And so what you'll often also see is that funds will move funds from one wallet to another wallet to another wallet to another wallet to kind of keep it detached. And often when you start seeing these funds move to different wallets, they're looking to do something with those funds, often moving to a centralized exchange, which if we go to transactions, I'm sure we'll likely see. And yeah, we see that render was sent to Bybit, OKX, Binance, and I'm assuming that this is probably also an exchange at Coinbase. So we have seen kinetic capital. So what we saw with the signal is that there's been a smart money outflow and this has gone to in a different address. And then from that address, we saw they moved funds to, an ex to four different types of exchanges, Binance, OKX, Coinbase, and Bybit. And they're most likely going to be selling those tokens. So that's quite interesting to see. And if we look at kinetic capital, so that would be we can see how does this compare to the overall holdings of render. And so again, one of the cool things we've done now is with Entity Profiler, and Entity Profiler bundles up all the addresses that we have within Nansen under one area. So for Kinetic Capital, all the, label, the addresses that we have here, we can see sort by all chains by default, and we can see their holdings. And as we can see here, render is their largest holding, and they've been moving funds gradually off here. And then if we look at the, da, 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 we can see the counterparties here. This will show us the different addresses. So I'll wait for that to load. Can capital this one here looks like to be the largest. So it doesn't, let's just go here. See what other ones they've got. So it looks like they've been moving funds a lot recently. So yeah, IMX, that's interesting to see here. And I wanted to do volume out, sorry. This will show you the addresses, some of the addresses. And you can see some of the addresses where they've been moving funds back and forth to. And I'm going to go to transactions actually just quickly just to make life a little bit easier for this. Uh, Kinetic Capital 0x FC. So in this case, they moved funds on the 6th of March and they presumably have been reducing their, their amounts there. We'll wait for this to load. And yeah, we still saw them move funds. So really interesting to see that this address that has been doing quite well with uh, Render is starting to offload funds. So if we look at other addresses related to Kinetic Capital, we might see that they are just being a little bit risk off because there's been significant movement. And uh, yeah, they're up substantially because if we go here, there's another address that they have they're up 421%, so that's significant. Especially when you're playing with numbers like this, 421% is just under $20 million, so that's huge. <laughs> and when, yeah. So it's just an interesting way we can use a signal to understand what's going on and break that information down. And this could potentially be uh, something that you can use to advantage. So if you're seeing an address that is selling up the holding significantly, uh, a significant amount after a long period of time, and when they've made a significant amount of gain, 
that could be something that you could use to your advantage. But let's have a look into render generally. So the final part of our list is that it's been like 10 minutes just diving into tokens. Um, how do we research a token? I'm going to use render as an example. And so the first thing that you ever want to do is look into the smart money net flows. This is an indicator. Again, you want to see exchange inflow. That's interesting. And you want to see how many holders have changed in the last 24 hours. So we can see it's been a little bit bearish because we can see smart money selling. There's been a few changes in hands here and there's been a significant price increase. So it might be that people are saying, look, I was holding around this point here. It's gone down. It's now back up. I'd like to sell. And that's reasonable behavior, but we need to look into the data to decide what's actually going on here. So one of my favorite things again, is the who bought and who sold. I can see this one address stands out more than anyone else. They bought 1.5 million <laughs> in the last 24 hours. So I'm going to come on to click. But we're going to look into the cells because these are the ones that I think might be interesting. So SCP, Aurora's Global, that could be interesting. High balance, da, 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 da. not seeing too many big changes here. And again, when we zoom out to 24 hours, seven days, sorry, we're not seeing too many big sales. But what you would do in this process is go for the who bought, who sold. Typically, the top addresses, depending on the token, you'd want to be looking at a specific amount of value. So in this case, I would probably look at anything, anyone who sold more than, let's say, 30,000 or who's bought more than 30,000, just so I get an understanding of addresses, both big and large. I'm sorry, big and large, large and small. And then from there, decide, okay, cool. Like, what are the smaller accounts doing? What are the larger accounts doing? Like, how can I use this information to my advantage? How profitable are they? How interesting are they? Go from there. We always want to look at balances, and we always want to look at balances and have a quick look at the top changes so we can see that Kraken, Bybit, so some changes, okay, so some changes, we're not that interested in this. This address is unlabeled, so we can dive into that a bit later potentially. But we can see that generally the top holders haven't changed their balances. Um, we exclude exchanges because obviously they're not an address, they're not a user, they're not an individual, they're not a fund. They're there to literally just facilitate trading. So funds go in, funds go out. Let's go to the second page. And we can see that there's been a small change here in the last seven days. And this is what you want to be looking into is like an indicator and again some of the other top holders here and they're not selling this is tends to be quite good when the price is up substantially uh da, da, da. and again you're seeing not much here an address that has recently changed their balance in the last 30 days always a good sign so you would go to transactions to understand so when you open up nansen do the transactions tab and just get an overview of what's going on if you think that there's something interesting happening in the price movements what you would potentially do after that it goes to the who bought and who sold. Command click through a few addresses that you kind of catch your attention. Maybe they have an interesting label when you hover over, or maybe they've bought a significant amount. Maybe they've sold a significant amount, and then go to do some research from there. And then you'd also look at balances to see if there's any major balance changes in the top holders. Maybe you go for the first couple of pages. This is, as we're kind of short for time at the moment, I won't go into too much. And then we would also look into smart money. So we always want to have an understanding of what smart money is doing to get an understanding of their behavior because often smart money has an edge in the market that could be beneficial to us as on-chain sleuths. So I did see there was an address that bought a significant amount of render. So let's have a look to see who they are and what's, what they're doing. And they've made 15% already on render. So they've made $500,000 there, which is significant. We can look at their tokens here. They render, switched out, and they bought in again. So this is quite interesting. So we know that they've made a realized gain off render. They then deposited a bunch of uh, USDT into Aave by the looks of things. And then from there, they've now just gone back and bought a bunch of render. And we're going to look into their PL. Again, this is a really cool feature that's going to be coming out very soon, about two weeks. Win rate's not too good. Profit's not too good. Unrealized gains. Not too good right now. They're currently down their buy of render. And if we right click and go to wallet profile of a token, let's see how things have played out. So we're going to go to all here. It looks like they have been very involved in render for a long time. So there was an inflow in December when the price was $3.55. Let's have a look. So we'll go all the way back here. And we'll wait for this to load. And then we can see that they've transferred. So they've been using one address to facilitate trading. They moved it to this address. 
They then did some selling activity through this address, and then they were buying and selling aggressively from here. So we can assume they bought an early here, price started going down, they bought and sold a bunch, bought and sold a bunch. And as the price is starting to go back up again, they're looking to buy. I'm kind of curious to see who this next trader is, to see who their first funded is, because I want to see who are they? Maybe they're a fund or something along those lines. Go to related wallets, go down to Dex Trader here, scroll down, name, we'll do the same here. And sometimes you can find something interesting. In some cases, you just go down a bit of a rabbit hole where you just go back and forth and you kind of go so far removed that it's no longer as actionable. But sometimes you can find things here, such as uh, first funded this address on Frentech, get first funded this address on Farcaster, it could be a fund, it could be an exchange, and that kind of gives you insights into the behavior of the address. So I don't see there's too much here, and I could probably spend more time diving into this, but again, conscious for time. Let's have a look into this token millionaire here. That's another address that was quite interesting. Trade highlights up to uh, 3 million in render, which is substantial, up 91%. Their entire portfolio is render first uh, funded again so here we go they were funded by upbit and if we look at wallet profile of a token so right click wallet profile of a token we want to see the token behavior for this address and we go all we can see that they were literally buying on upbit and they moved funds here so they first got in at two dollars 65 and then um they've been buying and selling and buying and selling so they use upbit as their facilitator so when they buy they buy on the exchange and send to the exchange this address when they sell they send it to the exchange and sell from there by the looks of things as you can see their balance has been gradually increasing by following the purple like bluish purple line at the top and you can see the price has been going up but now they're starting to move some of those funds back into upbit so if you was interested in render or as a holder and you can see they've been aggressively buying kind of building up a position now they're looking to offload it maybe that's something that you want to track with smart alerts so to do that you go to smart alerts and then new alerts and then go to token transfers and using this address or a custom label to then say hey i want to see what's going on with this address and stay updated with them because if they're looking to sell or they're buying i want to know that so that I can make decisions with precision. And that's the value of having, spending time with Nansen. So you can see what is happening with tokens, addresses that have a significant influence. This address has $27 million worth for this token. If they're making moves, that is probably a very strong indicator for you, as opposed to someone who has, let's say $200. If they're selling, I don't think it's gonna move the market. If they're selling, it might move the market. Finally, I want to have a look at this other address that I found that was selling render as well. They're worth 300 million. We scroll down here to first funded, high activity. There's a bit of a, I think this might be a bit of a spiral. Ah, so it was funded by Bitstamp. So someone, and they ended up going back and forth. So it's quite interesting to see. We can see that holdings at the moment, if we go to their PL. So again, PL is a new feature, really excited about it. You're going to start seeing these insights here. Yeah, turning 6 million to 10 mil with Ethereum, pretty cool. Making 26 million unrealized gains is pretty cool. Um, and if we go to the transactions tab, let's see what they're doing. And they're transferring funds back and forth. So this could potentially be an interesting entity that I would share internally and get the giga brains who know their stuff on chain to have a look into because as it is substantial, it could be maybe a fund, it could be maybe... Uh, an exchange hot wallet it could be a few little things and we're always constantly adding um, labels to addresses so we know who they are and what they're doing so i'm going to go to uh, render as we noticed they were selling i'll right click and go to what private token um, i say selling they were reducing their balance they could be moving it to another address and what we see here is if we go to all time we'll get back to all the time here as well is that there was coinbase they were <laughs> Coinbase in, Coinbase in, Coinbase in, Coinbase in. And they're building up a position. And it doesn't look like they're selling, actually, which is quite interesting. So maybe this was a who bought. And so they've been building the position. If we look, they bought at $6.95, $9.31, $11. That's near the top now, $11 again. And again, they're building up a position. So 
what might be useful here is this again setting up smart alerts to see what is going on so that if they're making moves that is really really useful for you to understand what's going on with the token and you can do this with any token and um, we can do it on different tokens on say base arbitrum um everything's going multi-chain that's going to be really really cool 